Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to FishMD, the show where we explore the deep seas of health and science-related topics. I'm Michael, I'm a medical doctor and your host. Today's show is about an invisible disease affecting millions of people worldwide, including one of my favorite actors, Morgan Freeman, and famous pop icon and singer Lady Gaga. The first time Lady Gaga opened up about her struggles with this relatively unknown and debilitating disease was in her documentary 542. There she was seen undergoing various treatments and suffering from immense pain. She probably knew deep down that there was something going on. Paranoia, fear, body pain, anxiety. I go from everyone touching me all day and talking at me all day to total silence and all these people will leave and then I'll be alone. So, what exactly is this disease that caused Lady Gaga to cancel some of her shows and even prevented Morgan Freeman from sailing his boats in the Caribbean? Continue watching to find out. The disease we are talking about is called fibromyalgia. It is a chronic condition characterized by an altered perception of pain. It mostly affects women between 30 to 35 years of age. However, it may occur at any age. Two fancy words you may hear in the context of fibromyalgia are hyperalgesia and allodynia. Hyperalgesia describes that fibromyalgia patients experience an increased sensation of pain to a painful stimulus, meaning they feel pain in a stronger way. Allodynia, on the other hand, refers to the sensation of pain to a usually non-painful stimulus, for example, a soft touch on your shoulder. Other symptoms include muscle and joint stiffness, sleep disturbances and fatigue, headaches and difficulty concentrating, also known as fibrofog, mood disturbances, including anxiety and depression, Irritable bowel syndrome, which is a disease of the digestive tract itself, but is often found in fibromyalgia patients. It presents with diarrhea, bloating and stomach cramps. Diagnosing fibromyalgia is still very challenging because of the overlapping symptoms with psychiatric and rheumatologic disorders and the lack of objective tests, for example blood works, to confirm the disease. So for me as a doctor, I have no way of confirming that somebody suffers from fibromyalgia by ordering a bunch of tests. Therefore, somebody is diagnosed with fibromyalgia if every other disease has been ruled out before. The underlying cause of fibromyalgia is still not very well understood and involves a combination of different factors such as a disturbed pain procession by the brain, altered levels of neurotransmitters such as glutamate, serotonin, noradrenaline and dopamine, sleep disturbances, which is not only a symptom of fibromyalgia, but according to some studies may also act as a causative factor, genetics, as fibromyalgia tends to run in families, triggers such as a car accident in the case of Morgan Freeman that caused nerve damage in his left arm, or great emotional stress. Lady Gaga described in an interview with Vogue magazine that fibromyalgia was brought on to her by a sexual assault. In my practice, I once had a patient who developed fibromyalgia after a very tragic passing of her son. And last but not least, there is a link to other autoimmune diseases and psychiatric disorders with fibromyalgia. When it comes to treatment, unfortunately, there is no cure available for fibromyalgia. So treatment consists of ways to control the symptoms. These include exercise, behavioral therapy with a specialist to process underlying psychological issues, proper diet and medication. Medication consists of antidepressants to restore chemical imbalances in the brain and of course pain medication. Medicine really helped me. Are you able to remain creative in the midst of the pain? Yes. Really? 
Yes, and that has come from both medicine, therapy, dialectical behavioral therapy, cognitive therapy. DBT therapy, yes. DBT therapy, yes. yes. And also, it's come through something that I learned through DBT, which is called radical acceptance. From my professional experience, pain medication, however, only has a mediocre effect on the symptoms. Meaning, patients still suffer from tremendous pain and are often unable to work. Lady Gaga also describes another challenge that other fibromyalgia patients will confirm. The challenge of not being taken seriously. Because the disease is not well understood and not found on objective tests such as an X-ray, Fibromyalgia patients experience a lot of disbelief from their social circle and also, unfortunately, from healthcare professionals. From what I know about the disease and from what I've seen in real-life patients, I strongly believe that this is a real disorder with a very big psychological component. As our minds and our bodies are strongly intertwined and under certain circumstances, psychological disorders can manifest themselves as bodily disorders. So please, don't only take care of your bodies, but also take care of your minds. For everybody out there suffering from fibromyalgia, my heart goes out to you, and I strongly suggest that you find a healthcare professional that you trust and that will accompany you through your lifelong journey with the disease that will have its ups and it's downs like Lady Gaga's. If your primary care doctor is, is um, prescribing you a antidepressant and an antidepressant, this should not be happening. Your primary care doctor should be introducing you to a psychiatrist who is an expert in me brain medication. What kept you getting up? All of you. And just like Lady Gaga finds energy through her fans and her music, many people with fibromyalgia have learned to live their best lives despite the condition, and so should you. Do you know anybody suffering from fibromyalgia? And what has helped them to cope with the disease? What do you do to keep a healthy mind? My name is Michael, I'm your host, and I hope I left you smarter than I found you.